the first thing to look for is the type of sewing machine shuttle. Used old sewing machines usually have either an oscillating shuttle or a vertical rotating one. The vertical rotating shuttle type is much better than the oscillating shuttle. But for beginners, sewing machine with oscillating type shuttle is preferable. The main feature of the oscillating shuttle type is the presence of bobbin case finger. Be sure to check the surface condition of the bobbin case and its tip. The surface must be free of scratches, chips, rusty areas. Ideally, it should be as shiny as a mirror and the tip of the shuttle hook should be sharp. There should be no gaps between the parts of the plastic case of the sewing machine. Loose connection of them indicates that the body of the machine was disassembled So looks of an attempt to loosen the case latches look like. If with a little effort, you can hold this stitch of bobbin winder, then a rubber ring of this device will have to be changed over time. The sewing machine must make at least three operations, straight stitch, zigzag, buttonhole. By the appearance of these knobs, you can determine the degree of wear on the sewing machine. Be sure to check the correct operation of at least the main stitches and operations, as well as the reverse stitch. When buying the used sewing machine, I recommend you to invite an experienced seamstress to check its work. Such a removable table will be helpful you to hem jeans, sleeves, etc. The presence of manual will help you quickly and better to master the sewing machine. The sewing machine must have a basic set of sewing feet. Be sure to make sure that the presser feet are there, 
otherwise they will have to be bought separately. Several screwdrivers, a brush, a spare light bulb, sewing needles, including double ones, will definitely come in handy in the future. A few bobbins will also be helpful. Please note that not all bobbins are equal, and some of them may not work with your sewing machine. Note, try not to use such metal bobbins, they often have nicks, rust areas, and other defects. The needle plate must be free from neck, breaks, and rust. Such a plate will have to be replaced, and it is quite expensive. Feed dog should not be worn out or blunt. Take a magnifying glass and check its condition. The teeth of feed dog should rise about one millimeter above the needle plate. The needle bar can have a backlash from the left to the right, but should not have a backlash towards itself or away from itself. If the surface of foot pedal has freight areas, its rubber feet are badly worn out, then the sewing machine has been heavily used. Check if the sewing machine light bulb is working. Run the machine without thread at full speed and check how noisy it is. Perhaps it just needs to be oiled or maybe its metal parts are already badly worn out and that is why it makes so much noise. Hear how the motor runs at full speed as well. Make sure that sparks are not visible through these cracks in complete darkness. Check that the bobbin winder is working properly. The more weight of the sewing machine, the more metal parts it has, and the more reliable and durable it is.
if the old sewing machine has housing for storing it intact, then surely the former owner carefully used the sewing machine.